Hey my little peachy roonies and welcome back to a new video. So it's Sunday, for me it is sleepy Sunday and my eyes like, they look like so small and sad and strange. Basically we have a fox that lives in our garden and Evie and the fox kind of obviously hate each other because foxes and dogs ain't the biggest fans of each other and she would always go out at night and bark with it before we went to bed. But that was it, like it was fine, it was it was like a, a truce almost. But the, or every single night this week, like every single night, I don't know how she knows when it's outside in the front garden but she just goes crazy we had our door open and we, our cat flap allows evie out with like her little microchip she'd be running out like 10 times a night barking at the fox like crazy then we had to lock her in the bedroom now she's going to get crazy in the bedroom and i checked the cameras on my phone and the fox is outside and i don't know how she knows our door is closed our air cord is on the fox is giving evie some kind of a signal and it's making her go crazy i don't know how to fix this problem my eyes are just like oh my gosh i don't even know and then my skin is like, oh no, you have a fox situation. Would you like an oil situation as well? I can give you two for the price of one. So I'm like, thanks for that skin. You always got my back, right? But anyway, I was like, okay, so I'm feeling super, super sleepy. It's a little bit of a lazy Sunday. What can I do that's like really fun and gonna put me in a really good mood and make me really, really happy? And I kind of hinted that I wanted to do this this week, but today we are doing, I feel like the mailman now because check this out. <laughs> We are going to be doing some P.O. box opening. I'm probably not going to get through all of these today, but I'm going to try and get through as many as I can. I said that I wasn't going to do them at the beginning of the videos. I was going to try this one-off video. You guys like it? This is something I'll probably do like once every two weeks, just as a little bit of a Sunday fun day thing. If you guys like that idea, please give us a big cheeky thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. If you're new here as well, don't forget to subscribe. Or if you are subscribed, but you don't always see my videos, make sure you hit that notification bell and you'll never miss a video. And you'll always stay peachy, you guys. Oh, stay red. Okay, let's get into this. I'm not gonna, oh my gosh, I just dropped half them on the floor. The packagey kind of ones always get me really excited. And then this one says on the front, four different types of candies. <laughs> You know I'm going in for this one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's literally four types of candy in here. So we've got a letter. And oh my gosh. We actually. <laughs> Evie is suddenly very interested in this video. Aren't you little petal? Oh, well, you're not tired. Why am only I tired? So, oh my gosh. These are foreign candies. <gasps> Where are you from? Oh, you're so cute. Where are they from? Where are you from? I need to find a ah! These are the candies. Very, very cool looking. Let's go ahead and find out where they're from. Evie, I'm not giving you any candy, babes. You're gonna have to just chill, okay? <gasps> oh my gosh, dear Claire, we're two girls from Norway. Wow. A named Ella and Nia. We love your videos and you, of course. We watch every single one of them. It blows my mind that there's like you guys in Norway watching my videos or anywhere in the world that you are like I just never would have ever thought that was the case if you like saw like young Claire like feeling like she had like nobody in the world and now I have so many people around the world it's just a really nice feeling you guys okay so they've put the Norwegian word for milk chocolate here I'm gonna try and say it milk show or kalde <laughs> no milk show ko kolade kolade Cola, colade, colad. Milke, chocolade, or colade. I don't know which it is. Let me know how good that pronunciation or how terrible that pronunciation is. And also, peach in Norwegian is fersken. 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 I don't know why I'm doing it like angry German accent. Apparently, that's the only accent I can do. Now you know. Oh my gosh, I love that. And you guys were suggesting that Ali and I should do a foreign, like, sweetie opener, uh, sweetie tasting session on the Clara and Ali channel. That would actually be a really good idea. So thank you so much, Ella and Mia. Thank you for watching my videos in Norway that makes me very happy okay so this one got a little bit damaged in the mail um but oh my gosh <gasps> look at this look how cool this is but I've actually got like a little C there so maybe I can put this one next to it pop some batteries in I love that let's see who sent it Oh my gosh, and a picture of me and Evie as well. This is the best thing on a Sunday. I'm in such a good mood now. I was so tired before. To Claire, I really hope you get this and like my present. I love all your videos. And actually talking about your bullying in the Q&A really helped lots of people. I hope you're okay. And my favorite sim is Lily Bear. You guys love Lily Bear. I'd love to meet you and I live in the UK as well. I love you and your videos. Love Rose Crossman. Oh my gosh, Rose, thank you so, so much. Like, this is super, super cute. If you guys send me stuff, don't feel like you have to send me like presents. It's really nice and lovely when I do. I don't want to take away from that, but I don't want you guys to feel like you have to. That's kind of what I'm getting across, but I love this. Thank you so, so much. And it's definitely, let's go profit there right now. Next to each other. 
Okay, what have we got here? Please open on camera. Okay, I'm doing that. Don't worry. Mom. Oh my gosh, more candy. <laughs> we have some mental shakies. Ali and I are going to have such a sugar high. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. How good is this? Look me with my headphones on that's amazing that's so good you guys are awesome <gasps> seeing all your drawings makes me want to draw again <gasps> oh my gosh and these sweets have a peach flavor <gasps> they do look 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 oh my gosh my fingernails are gross but it's a peach this is from millie her favorite sim is either carrie or faith because they're both good sims so millie waits for the notification every day so she can watch my video she's watched every single video i've uploaded so my older ones aren't great millie Lisa, thank you so much for doing that and I'm sorry. You're my inspiration and idol. Never stop what you're doing because you're just amazing and the funniest. Thank you for everything you've done for me. <gasps> Millie, thank you for everything you've done for me, including this awesome picture. <gasps> Guys, this, my Sunday is so good. Okay, I'm opening this one for obvious reasons. It's got an American flag all over it, which means it's probably come from Switzerland, right? Of course, it's from the USA. Oh, pretty card as well. Oh, it's a birthday card from Colleen Smith. I feel there's nothing more truly artistic than to love people. They're Van Gogh paintings. <gasps> That's amazing. But I'm surprised mail from the US gets over so quick as well because I only gave my PO box out a little while ago. So that's pretty amazing. So Colleen says she doesn't fit the normal demographic for most of my YouTube followers. Her son has just turned 20, so she's actually closer in age to my mum. And until Pokemon Go was released, she hadn't really played videos since she was in grade school and she started playing Pokemon Go so she could play something that her son also enjoyed and then she started watching Ali and then myself in the Pokemon Go videos and she loved watching us travel around England, Iceland and uh, Los Angeles. So many people have actually said to us that they love the Pokemon Go vlogs because they got to see like quite a lot of England that they wouldn't normally see especially if they didn't live in the UK so it's almost like like mini travel vlogs. Oh this is such a nice letter. About the time the Pokemon Go interest began to Wayne. Uh, I started posting Sims 4 videos and she's gotten so much enjoyment from them. And her husband smiles and shakes his head when I when she bursts out laughing watching my videos. And now she's playing Sims as well after watching my videos. I get really upset like reading stuff sometimes. So this person has undergone like uh, some stressful situations in her life and watching my Sims videos and playing Sims herself has kind of been a bit of a form of escapism to, to her, for her. This is, kind of, this is getting me really emotional. I think that you and Ali are amazing human beings, beautiful both inside out, genuinely good and compassionate individuals to people and animals alike. And she is a psychologist and believes that when we talk about our, the experiences we go through online, painful experiences like bullying, it actually gives countless young people hope for a future and help them feel less alone. You are living proof that there is a whole world of happiness that can that can be available to people if they persevere and seek out people who share their values and interests. You've encouraged acceptance of people in the LGBTQ community. Oh, I'm sorry, just, I just get really, really emotional about this kind of stuff. Like, I, this is what I want to try. I try and get this like across in my videos and I try and make people who felt like the way I did when I was in school feel like, there's, there is a future for them because I know for a lot of people if they're in a dark place and they don't see a future then that can lead to them doing things that mean they'll never get to experience a future and I, if I I've, my head has been there when I was younger and I'm so glad I'm out the other side now and there is, there is an other side to get out to so that's what I try and that, that is like a, a thought process that I try and kind of foster for you guys that watch my videos. I don't always know if it works, it's nice when it does. Let's read a letter from somebody who's actually a psychologist for 20 years and sees that the stuff that I'm doing is having a benefit and thinks that it does have a clinical benefit is just... I don't ever want people to go through what I went through in school, but if they are, I want them to know that I'm... I could totally relate to them and I'm here. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get a tissue. Evie looks so concerned. <sighs> sorry, it's, it's happy tears. It is happy tears. I just get kind of overwhelmed. I never thought I would be in a position to help others and I'm really glad that I am. And Colleen, thank you so, so much for your letter. I'm, I, I'm, they're happy tears. Don't feel bad that you made me cry. It's like, it's nice, it's nice happy tears. And thank you so, so much. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> let's, let's have a look at some of the other stuff you guys have sent me. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> so hi Claire, my name is Francis. I am your number one fan. Me and my friends would love to meet you and he has massive love for Asha like you do for Abel. Asha is a lovely, lovely character. And every time you pull out your peach juice, I take a sip of my mango juice. And Francis has also sent this bracelet, which I'm gonna put on for the remainder of this video. Thank you so, so much, Francis. I also have this really weird thing. I don't really like things on my left arm. Even when I wear a watch and I'm right-handed, I still put the watch on my right hand. Everything always has to go on this hand. I don't don't know why it is but that's the way it is it's like a weird weighted thing like I feel like this arm's heavier so this one needs weight on it I don't know don't don't even try and get inside my stupid brain it doesn't make any sense oh my gosh look at this envelope it's got a papa on it and I'm pretty sure that is a Cavalier King Charles it's just one of the black and tan ones I feel bad ripping this it's too pretty I'm gonna have to open it really carefully oh my gosh this person's called Macy like Macy my character my name is Macy and I'm nine years old you're my favorite youtuber ever you are so funny and nice my two very Sims are Macy, obviously, and also James, and she loves it in the suburbs house. I think I might need to put an updated version of that house on the gallery. However, it does have a lot of CC on it. Come with you to release your merch. Have a great day from Macy, and look how pretty this letter is. So gorgeous. Thank you, Macy. Okay, well, oh wow. Look at this. This is the envelope. Look at this envelope. How insanely cool is that? Oh my gosh, these are all my thumbnails. These are all recent thumbnails as well. Like, th this was this week. Oh my gosh, this is really recent. Wow. Still got all like wet on the corner of my eye here. Oh my gosh, this is, <gasps> oh my gosh, look at this. This is like, like hard, look. Can you see that? It's me with my red hair and my glasses on. Oh my gosh, I've not worn my glasses in a while. I should have worn them for this video. They press into my, like my headphones make them press into the side of my head. But obviously I don't have my headphones on right now. Let me find them. When I wore these back home, my brother who actually wears glasses thought these were hilarious because look, I've got no lens in them because otherwise it would reflect off the camera. Also hilarious because I spent my whole childhood trying to avoid wearing glasses by wearing lenses. And now I wear them just for trendiness. I don't like how these have the big thick bit here. Like that really bugs me and I know is that um, another YouTuber, like Leah Sniperwolf. Hers doesn't have that, and I think hers are like Ray-Ban ones. So I may invest in some like actual, these these are like two pounds glasses. <laughs> like get some nice ones. Okay, so this is absolutely amazing, this drawing. Like the, look at this. Like that is perfect. We've got little Raichu here. Look, my little succulents. My little one million thank you. And my little doggos and the grass. Oh my gosh. Like, you've, you've nailed this. Okay, this is Saffron, which is also a beautiful name. My name is Saffron. I'm 11 years old. Wow. Saffron, if you're drawing like this at 11, then I'm going to be hanging your artwork on my wall one day. Actually, I might even just hang this because this is great. I love your channel and Peach Juice, of course. You are so funny and I wish I was as positive as you are. You can be. It's a mindset. It's just putting positivity out in the world and positivity comes back to you. Times 10. That's the way it works. I love all your Sims 4 series and my favorite character was Salma, but I also love Lilith and Abel. I hope you like your draw uh, my drawing. I worked really hard on it. Well, it's absolutely amazing, Saffron. Oh my gosh, another pretty card. And it's got a Papa Roo on it, you guys. I think we need a new Papa Roo in The Sims. That's the vibe I'm feeling. So this is from Grace. She also has started her own YouTube channel and she's watched all of my Sims series from the beginning. She clicks as soon as I post a video. Even if she's watching another video, she'll click and watch mine. And she lives in the UK as well. Thank you so, so much, Grace. This is so Cute. I have so many to get through like I just want to show all of them I don't want to give all of them justice because I love like Casey uh, Casey's videos but sometimes when he opens a lot he's like ah and then just puts it to one side really quickly and I'm like no show them moments of love because it's amazing that they've sent you something okay oh my gosh <gasps> This is from Will, and even though I discovered your channel early this year, it instantly made me laugh, giggle, and smile. You have made me so, so happy. Evie is so cute. Evie, you're so, so cute. You already knew that. And look at this, a beautiful little buttony stitch gift. Thank you so much, Will. All this is piling up in front of my coffee. This is my second coffee within half an hour. Thanks for that, Beanie. Oh, this one's got a heart on it. Obviously, the heart ones get opened, guys. You're all gonna put hearts on the envelopes now. That is a Claire face collage extraordinaire right there. Also, lots of beautiful thumbnails, and I'm noticing. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, Abel. How you doing, friend? Oh, look at little Taylor in his little presidential outfit as well. I wish, like, Taylor was actually president of the world. I think it would be a wonderful place. So many characters on there, actually. That's awesome. Little Nathan. I can't 
can't wait to see how Nathan's gonna look like when he grows up. Oh my gosh, they're all here! <gasps> it's the whole gang! There's so many of them! <gasps> and the family tree! Wait a minute, I feel like I've seen this family tree on Twitter before. Oh, I love the family trees. I could just look at them forever. Oh my gosh. It is a bit of a complicated family tree now, but this is so good. This is so, so good. I love this. I love this so much. I know that beautiful long letter. And I just skim read it and then read hashtag Asha Collins is bae. You guys like Asha. Uh, this is from someone called Neve. I already, this this letter is hilarious already. I'm gonna have to show you some of the best bits. Every time she sees a notification on my channel, she actually screams. In brackets, she's put, I'm not even exaggerating. And she loves the length of my videos. Can you actually adopt me? I don't know what your parents say, Neve, but hey, I'm down. Anyway, uh, but can I actually have your permission to marry a Asha? He is actually fire. Actually, bae. <laughs> you can message me on Instagram the permission slip. I just want to say you're the best person ever. Right, I've got to be honest. I've only had put Peach a couple of times, but I will have it more often, I promise. I can imagine this person in real life and I want to be a friend because she's hilarious. <laughs> you and Ali are a great couple. Hope he proposes to you soon. Neve, join the gang. Join the sad guy. Hashtag Claire Villarreal. Hashtag Neve Collins. Hashtag Peach Juice for Life. Neve, you're hilarious. I love that. Hashtag Neve to start her own YouTube channel, please. <laughs> okay, I want to open this one just because it's literally been MacGyvered from a piece of paper, which I love because that's so creative. Piece of paper and like, like cellar tape. Although now I'm really scared of ripping it. But as a kid, like, I never had envelopes. I'm like, oh, I can't set anything in envelopes. So I also used to fold like paper into an envelope. So love this. <gasps> this is exactly exactly what I used to do, like literally exactly what I used to do. So another amazing artist, this is Jamie. Oh, and her brother's a massive fan of Ali, so he is writing to Ali and she has written to me. And look at this amazing piece of Sims related artwork. I like how Abel is clearly the one that you first look at. Jamie knows, Jamie knows. Yellows are my favorites. Okay, her faves are Claire, Asha, Charlotte, Lilla, Ali, Ryder, Connor, Willow, Faith, and Noelle. Thank you so, so much, Jamie. I love that. I also love the name Jamie. I like names that work for either gender. So like, I like Ash, I like Jamie. I just like names that like work both ways. I just like them. I think they're really cool. That is the most boring name because it's just like one syllable, like Claire. Ali, Ollie, Evie, Darcy, Claire. <laughs> Okay, dear Claire, I love you. You know Summer, she was originally called Edith. Well, my name is Edith. My favorite Sims are Jesse, Jamie, and Faith. Keep doing what you're doing because you're putting a smile on the faces of everyone around you. You're awesome. Your awesome's written really big so you know it's true. Bye. <laughs> What's your name though? You haven't put your name. Oh no. Oh, no, you did. Edith. Wow, I'm dumb. <laughs> also, oh my gosh. This is so funny. I used to make these origami boxes all the time. Like I can tell this is origami. And uh, I made an origami box and I went to a Green Day concert and uh, I got loads of, ple I was at the front and I got loads of plechums thrown by the like the bass player of Green Day and I collected them all and put them in our origami box. My mum's gonna kill me for showing this video. And the origami box that handmade was on the window with all like my little plechums in it. I was so proud of it. It blew on the floor. Mum thought I was trash and just put the whole thing in the bin. So the, the box and the plechums are gone forever. And I like to remind mum of that story every now and again, just so she could feel real bad. <laughs> In here, I have a beautiful llama keyring. Llama, obviously, people try and pretend llamas are a Fortnite thing. Llamas are a Sims thing and they have been for a really long time. Also, this absolutely adorable little pepperoo in a popcorn. It's so cute. I think it's a little rubber. It's adorable. <gasps> Bean has gone to bed. Let's just appreciate that cuteness as well. Thank you, Edith. That's awesome. Unlike my mum, I won't be throwing that away. Oh my gosh, there's so many. I wish I could like do things at double speed. So this is from Darcy. She's 10. I've been here since the beginning, no kidding. She plays Sims on the Xbox so she can't get custom content. Oh Darcy, I feel your pain. I would really struggle without custom content. I used to get bullied even though I was extremely confident, but I stood up to them because of you. And now we're good friends. Oh wow, that's an awesome story. When I watch you, I want to give you a hug. I don't care if that sounds weird. It doesn't sound weird. Like the number of times I've gone to uh, meetups and there'll be like one of you guys there and I can tell either it's always two situations. It's one you want to ask me for a hug but you don't feel like it's appropriate. It's always appropriate. Don't ever think that. Or two, I can tell like some people when I meet you guys, I think you get a little bit overwhelmed. You've probably been building up and it's like you just get a little bit overwhelmed and flustered and sometimes you can't talk. So whenever that happens, I always get up and come around and give you a hug. So I always feel like you can ask me for a hug. I love hugs. Like I love giving them. I love receiving them. Hugs are just like a little like love thing. I just don't, I don't, I think they're great. I think hugs are fantastic. So I always, always feel like you can come and give me a hug if you ever see me or meet me and yeah. 
Hugs are great. I just thought we'd do a little, little detour on the hug route. And anyone that knows you knows that you love freckles. And well, I have thousands of freckles. Here are my freckles. Here's a picture of an absolutely beautiful young girl. There you go. That made me feel so much better about my freckles. Also, I have thick eyebrows and you always also talk about wanting thick eyebrows, which I did not like, but I love them now. Oh my gosh, this stuff makes me so happy because I wish someone had pointed out the things that I hated when I was younger and said that they loved them because it would have changed my view. And honestly, I don't know. I think fe every feature looks great on people. And it's so funny you mentioned the eyebrows thing because I don't know if you can tell or not, but with my eyebrows, I like draw, I like colour in my eyebrow when I do my makeup and then I do a line above my eyebrow and colour that in so that I can like double the thickness of my eyebrows because I love eyebrows. And Darcy, you have them naturally. Also, I have no freckles, which I'm so sad about because I love them. And you have thousands, so you are super, super lucky. But I'm really glad I could make you feel good about some of the features you were worrying about because they're not ever stuff to get worried and upset about. They're beautiful. And she also made this bracelet for me which I'm gonna put on now. If I can work out how to do it, like, let's not lie, I'm not great at this stuff. You wanna come back up, Bubba? Here's the bracelet. Okay. What do you think of it, Beanie? You like it? It's pretty, isn't it? Pretty. I might have to get Ali to help me put this on. <laughs> Friendship bracelets is a thing I'd always see people have. So I'm like, I have no friends, so I cannot have one. But now I have one! Thank you, Darcy. And I'm definitely gonna have to ask Ali for help from this, because apparently my fingers are stupid. But I will be wearing this to look out for in future videos. Okay, this one is from Ireland, I can already tell. <gasps> From Carly Fitzpatrick, my grandma, my dad's mum, uh, Grandma Madge, the grandma that I lost to dementia last year. Kind of a sad note, I didn't mean to go down that route. But her maiden name was also Fitzpatrick. No, that's a lie, it was Fitzgerald. Who's Fitzpatrick? So we've got Fitzpatrick's in our families as well. It's a great thing about Irish surnames is you always share them with other people. Oh my gosh, Claire Siobhan. The little cool creations that you had. I literally thought that was a mirror then and went to go check my appearance, but you can't see it. Hey Claire Siobhan, I'm Carly, I'm 12 years old and I live in Ireland. Uh, my favourite series is Broken Dream and my favourite songs from each series are Harry from Cats and Dogs, Abel from Broken Dream, Macy from Suburbs and Summer from New Suburbs, Indigo from City and Ryder from Broken Dream. Also has a couple of questions for me. Who is your favourite YouTuber? I watch like a lot of YouTubers and I kind of just go through phases. So at the moment I'm watching like a lot of skincare YouTubers and I won't like just watch one person's channel. I'll watch like loads of different like skincare videos. This morning I watched, um, he was like an Asian guy that lived in, in that was living in LA and he was going through like his uh, baby face morning routine and he has amazing skin. So I was watching it just being like, and he's so chill and calm and has like just a nice life and a nice car. I was like, you are amazing. Oh wow, that was literally the channel that I was watching this morning. <laughs> but my favorite actual YouTuber is of course Ali. Who is your favorite character from Riverdale? I quite like Ronnie. I think she's really cool. I also like her like family. I know that they're a little bit like evil and twisted, but I think it makes them really interesting characters. So I would definitely say Ronnie. Also, do you know any Irish? I'm fluent in it. Oh my gosh, so my grandma would try and teach me Gaelic when I was younger. But from where she lives in Ireland, it's not really spoken anymore. Um, that's like on the West Coast. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that she's included guys can see it's kind of just doing a big globe it's like a little butterfly it's so pretty um so i used to be able to count to 10 i used to be able to say some phrases but not anymore i think the only ones i know now are like slauncher kaylee kaylee lefalte and the nokia con cinema i don't know i can't really remember them anymore i'm not great at them there we go i'm now wearing the little necklace too thank you there's so many so many I was thinking, should I do this video every week, every two weeks? Let me know. I don't know how well these videos are gonna do, but I kinda wanna do them anyway, just cause I think if you guys send me stuff, it's only fair that you get to see me open it, you know? This one includes another family tree. You guys love doing this, but I think the family tree is so interesting. I actually love it. Stay calm and drink peach juice. And this is from Lauren. She says, hey Claire, I know you probably won't see this, but I love you so much. You're my favorite person to watch. I also still struggle at school and get bullied a lot about my forehead. Preach sister. I hope you bring out peach merch soon because that is also my favorite drink. Thank you for reading this if you do. And she has also included this picture of herself. Lauren, look at that picture. That is an insanely, insanely beautiful girl. Like you look absolutely amazing. I totally feel you on the forehead thing. It's a thing that people like to just pick on. And I don't know, big forehead means inside is probably a big brain. 
but also I read an article and it showed who uh, a scene of the most beautiful women in the world and you see Angelina Jolie, you see Rihanna, you see Beyonce, like all these women and all of them have really big foreheads so people might like use it as a way to try and get at you but don't let it get to you. And I have to tell myself this as well because a lot of people find big foreheads either really beautiful or they just don't care about them. I think we see our flaws much more than other people. Also one thing I would like to point out is if you're using a camera and you take a portrait, take a picture of yourself using like your camera portrait wise and then turn it to the side because I didn't realize this for a while this was giving me a really warped sense of myself and it was getting me really down whenever I take a picture like this. The front camera warps your face this way. If you have a bigger forehead and you take a picture of yourself this way it's gonna look really like extreme on camera but it's not it's not your face it's the way that the lens is shaped. If you do it this way and then take a picture just do it for like a peace of mind because people don't see this version of you because this is like a warped one. People see how you look like when you put the camera to the side which is without the big forehead. It's the camera like makes it worse than it really is and when I discovered that I was like Phew, okay so it's it's not like literally portrait mode Claire. Camera like really foreheady. Side camera much more in proportion. Fr the front camera is mean okay. <laughs> this is from Lucy. She loves my videos and her favorite sim is Salma. She also loves peach juice. So since she's not allowed to comment on um, YouTube videos, she thought she would tell me that she thinks my videos are amazing. And I think that Connor and Erica should call all their children names beginning with S for Selma. And she's also drawn a picture of Selma. I think that's a pretty much number one Selma fan right there. Thank you so much, Lucy. Okay, I think maybe final letter. And then I think I'm gonna have to do this every week. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Okay, this one is also from Norway. So I'm gonna go for this one. Hello, Claire, congrats on your birthday on Monday. I might say something funny. My sister has the same birthday as you. I've been following on YouTube for a long time. It's my favorite channel and it's also been a hot summer in Norway. <gasps> and oh my gosh, she's drawn a beautiful animal. Okay, so we've got Oliver, Darcy and Evie and we've also got Selma's dog Fido who wants to play? I love that. Super, super cute. Thank you so much, Selma. I wanna do one more. I swear I could do this all day and I'm gonna do it This one caught my eye because it's more sellotape than envelope. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's in the peach gang. Peachy gang, peachy gang. This is from Taran. I hope I'm saying that right. So I shows my videos so much, they make us smile. My favorite sum is all of them, but if I had to choose, it would be Abel. Good decision. You can make awesome videos. I think Kira and Anthony are a good match. I hope you like the sign. I do. Thank you so, so much, Taryn. Okay, we have got some really, really cool stuff. We've read some amazing letters. I've got emotional. And I've just loved reading your stuff so, so much. Please let me know if this is something you can do. If not every week, then every other week. Because I just really, really like doing it. It makes me so, so happy. And I just love reading stuff from you guys. It's an absolute ton of fun. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a cheeky thumbs up. Show it some love if you want me to do more of these. Please, please, please show this video video some love um, and then I'll, I'll do more of them and thank you guys so much for sending me stuff and for your kind words and I'm glad that I put smiles on all of your faces as you can see you put a really really big smile on my face as well and I'll see you guys in another video have an awesome Sunday bye